Hey everyone. So I spent a lot of time trying to explain this idea of treating Excel a little bit more like PowerPoint. And when people see these Excel dashboards, they often say, is that really Excel? Like, how do you do that? And they assume that maybe it's plugins or custom coding or something. It's really none of that. Excel has all of the features built in that you need to do this sort of thing. And I just, I, I want to reiterate to people what those features are because they probably already know about them. They're just not using them. So it's all built on a core premise. And that's the idea of layering shapes, images, and charts. And just like PowerPoint, Excel is made up of layers. Everything has its place. Your very, very base layer is your actual cell grid in the background where your data is. On top of that, you can layer things like shapes. You can layer things like uh, your metrics, charts, etc., and do pretty much all of the same stuff that you would do in PowerPoint. But for some reason, we don't do that in Excel. And a lot of people, it's just because they never have thought of using Excel that way or considered it to be the right way to use it. But it's all there. Um, the idea of shapes is, again, exactly like PowerPoint. In Excel, under the Insert tab, you have shapes, all sorts of different shape options. You can also include text. Those shapes can be styled exactly the way that you would expect in PowerPoint. Um, if we do formatting for this shape, you can see some of the options. You can do fill colors, lines, you can fill it with gradients, patterns, you can do shadows, you can do reflections, glow, soft edges. If you're somebody who does any kind of visual design or as you sketch Illustrator, Photoshop, you'll kind of be familiar with this stuff. And if you're not, you've probably used it to some extent in PowerPoint. And then on top of that, we have metrics. Metrics are just added by creating a transparent rectangle and then using the formula bar to pointed at a particular piece of data. Nothing crazy there. You just type equals into the formula bar and click the cell you want to show up in that rectangle. And then charts, just like you've normally used charts in Excel. Nothing fancy here. These are pivot charts. Um, you can even add things like filters and menus using the slicer and timeline features for pivot charts and pivot tables. And you can just layer things up and create cool, interesting effects. And there's just all these opportunities to get creative and create really cool, beautiful visualizations in Excel. And I encourage everyone to test these out and try them for themselves because you can make something that looks really impressive and it's not as much work as you might expect. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Have a good day. And uh, I'll be posting back soon with more about how I built this particular dashboard and a couple of other recent ones. Bye.